pistol. Into the pistol. Very crucial that the complexity will win the, to, to win this out. Yeah, and already Kadian's going to be getting aggressive here. And just stairs. He's going to have a pistol. We'll get flashed out immediately from boys and complexity. As they are going to be going for stairs control. Depth is going to be the one to lead this charge up here. And early aggression coming out from complexity. Kadian's going to try and get one shot and popped in there. And now with a 30 minute 30 on the clock. This push is coming in. And Kadian all alone. But rotation's already coming in. Yeah, he's going to be watching from default as his teammates rotate through. And he's going to spot three right off the bat. And he's spraying oh, away, no. but he gets aim punched. He's forced to back off. But you know, Tensi is going to shut him down. And oh, Uber going to find one kill. And Android going to find one as well. And still down to a man advantage for complexity. And Rogue, oh my goodness. Glace is oh, going to find one. And eight answers back with two for himself. It's and now, Maniac. Maniac in a 1v2, a 1v3, sorry, and he shuts down one, and it's still so close, he can't he do oh, this? No. It's Uber, this is so awkward, <laughs> he runs away. He just, guys, give me one second, I'll answer back. Oh, but Uber and Ape, 14 and 2, oh, <laughs> this goodness. is crazy. Maniac, this is extremely doable. Bomb's taking away, keep note that he has a kid as well, and a smoke to do this. He's oh. gonna drop the smoke the bomb, tap it out, try to bait anything out. Oh the my goodness. Oh no. Here comes Ape oh no, and this Uber, and uh-oh. I don't know kicking. if you heard the defuse, but oh, Uber sprays no. away. No. No. <laughs> what a way to start off, guys. Oh, no. As oh. Uber, not 100% confident where that bomb was planted. And it only would have taken a couple bullets there to close it out, but Maniac clutching it out. Dust mentioned he's going to be this calm, big brother-esque kind of feel here, and the man to clutch it out, and he just did so. Yeah, he equalizes to a 1v1, and pretty confident with that defuse, so... Regardless, Team Rogue win the very crucial pistol round, and we're going to see uh, three rifles in the hands of the Team Rogue side. And also, Complexity going to make their way towards oh, stairs, wow. and they're going to be successful finding that pick. And hate coming over, though. Going to drop Surreal and Uber. Extremely low HP, so that's a nice opening frag for Complexity. That's an MP9 out of the hands of Kadian. What are they going to do now is that's going to be the man to start one peeking stairs. A nice shot from HS and just trades and no, Maniac just maniac. gets a 4K. Back from. Wow, back from Monster. Wide peaks out to short and just mows all four members down. Yeah, we'll definitely get to see that again soon, guys. But Maniac just lines up four in the cat side. And now Team Rogue 2 0. Complexity. They did get the bomb down on the first round, so that leads to a third round buy. So money's going to get a little awkward if uh, Complexity can't close this out. Yeah, and the utility right now on the side of complexity is not really bright right now. They need to be extremely conscious of where they use this utility and make sure they have enough for their executes that are going to come later on in the round. Meanwhile, we're all going to be sticking with a UMP and a couple of FAMASs as well. Maniac back to his barrel's position, going to be using his smoke there towards long B. And that's just going to be holding Android off. And while depth, going to get into full water control. Just lock down Khan. Bomb still posted towards long B, and here comes HS with a nice aggressive peek from short, gonna be able to find Uber. Yeah, and Maniac's gonna pick up Def, and now, two player advantage for Team Rogue as uh, the bomb is all by himself. That's gonna be Android, just holding on to it, but look at this, though, Seaside, Kadian, uh -oh. followed by Tenski. They're going for this push, but it's the boys in complexity getting out of dodge, and but this is so much info, regardless, give it over to the Team Rogue, they're like, alright, no one's on the A side, feel free to rotate. Off of A towards B and stack that up. That's Complexity. That's three members here towards Long B, and they're going to continue this push forward. They need to deal with Maniac at barrels, and they don't even have a molly. They don't have a molly to do so. Yeah, Maniac has been pretty successful in this angle, but as they creep their way through, 40 seconds on the clock. Complexity, can you take this site? Maniac says hello, and he's going to get taken out by Ape. And here comes a Jess as he sits in pit. As he makes their way onto the site, bombs going to get planted right away into the smoke and holds my position. It's down to a 4v3. 3 post plant is it's real. He's gonna hear that player dropping into pit. Ape's gonna be the linchpin of this round. He's gonna be hanging around by pillar. Just waiting for any push. Shot in the back is Kadian, oh, and they no. make that happen. It's Tenski and Kane Candy and working together there to make that retake happen. And Rogue. Oh no. Like in that in that sense, I think the reason why they lost is because you know Ape's throwing a flash. He's not watching an angle, right? He's looking towards some you know, a similar angle, and they just get shut down in that sense. So. You know, just getting caught that nade, and that's just uh, quite unfortunate there. And that's the the buy, third round buy coming out, just getting shut down. Mm -hmm. And now the <laughs> complexity is in one of these awkward positions where the economy won't be in a stable position for a couple rounds now. And they're gonna have to make a weird decision of just going for some pistols, seeing what they can do with a little bit of utility to work with. Which we are gonna get a little fly around of the coal guys talking things over. Looks like there is a little bit of a 
little bit of an issue with the in-game, but they are going to be joining it now. And uh, we'll see what they'll go for. I imagine not too much will get invested, but we will see a replay of how this broke down. Yeah, so he drops a flash, and his teammate dies, and he does react to it, but dies as well. So too many angles to deal with with yeah. four rogue players just taking this, making this retake happen. Yeah, so it all come down, comes down to timing and how ready you are in that sense. But, you know, quick trades and Team Rogue just winning that first gun round. So, like you said, uh, buy round is going to be really awkward. They're going to definitely, Complexity is definitely going to go into a save. Yeah. And um, the round loss bonus will accumulate. And they will be able to buy fifth round, I believe. But it depends if uh, they want an op. But, t I'm going to ask you, do you yep. want an op on T-side overpass? Um, if your opera is feeling extremely confident and they're able to get these early picks... Um, it's one of these weird maps where a CT op can just sit in one's position and just hold it all around it. And it's a critical position, too. He can hold long, which can shut down a good B take. And it just comes down to if you're feeling confident with your T side opera, who's going to be able to get in these aggressive positions and take these duels. And if he's feeling it today, he might be able to go for it. Depth going to be leading, leading the charge with this Deagle. Oh, but he has the bomb. He does so. have bomb as well. So they did invest into a couple pistols to complexity while Rogue fully decked down everything they could possibly need. Def, you're gonna get spotted out. So Tenski's gonna be first on contact, and he's gonna drop the bomb. So that's gonna send the rest of Rogue to make their way towards the A side. And Kadian gonna back up, but he is gonna find a kill onto Uber. And Tenski's gonna pick one up, and Kadian finds a second on the Android. He finds a third with that spray. That's gonna be eight to go down, and that's gonna be four zero. Yeah, that was just uh, complexity bathroom push, trying to get lucky, see if a player from Rogue was gonna get pushed up over a little over aggressive. Probably take a peek, see if they can get themselves a rifle to work with. But nothing happening there as the boys in Rogue playing it back using the range of the rifles there and just mowing down the boys in complexity. And here we go. The AKs are back out. You're going to see a fair amount of utility on the side of complexity. And finally, some mollies to deal with Maniac's position towards barrels. But on the side of Rogue, sticking with all of their rifles, not deciding to upgrade to an op at all. As Ape is going to gain some little bit of control here. Kadian loves the challenges. Uber's going to get challenged immediately. Maniac finds one. What can Depth find the second? He cannot. That's a good trade for Rogue because they're now a man up. Yeah, and now a bomb by himself cannot capitalize on HS and Android just thinking, oh goodness, you guys didn't get water, but what is he going to do now as Surreal makes his way down and oh, oh no, no, oh no, <laughs> no, Kadian on a Surreal, didn't check the corner, he didn't think he'd be pushed up that far and it's starting off really hot for the boys on row. <laughs> oh my goodness, so Android all by himself as he is in a 1v4 situation. Bombs down towards stairs as uh, Android will find one and he's trying to be aware of this situation. Tansky looking to peek and he will find it. Android, can you pull this off? But he won't. Glace is going to clean him up and now that's five rounds in a row for Team Rogue. Yeah, an extremely strong CT half. They're just playing so well in, in, in the sights and if they decide to get aggressive, you notice they always push it together and oh no, if the humiliation the first time wasn't bad oh. enough. Slow motion replay for this one. And there's Gadian going to get that one. So. I don't know, Team Rogue, whenever they decide to get aggressive on the CT side, they're always in packs of two or three even, and their utility usage to make these aggressive takes into the water is always on point, while Complexity, a little spread themselves thin across the maps, and it's hard for them to really trade effectively at that point. Yeah, Ben HS is going to peekaboo. Sees uh, two players in the water, so they are going to react to that Uber, followed by Depth. Now, Depth is still watching that angle as he sprays through the single plank. And HS is going to back off, trying to watch towards the door as the bomb is actually down for default towards the B side. A little bit of spam coming through. Oh. Uber's going to go for this boost though towards Sandbag, try to catch a player off guard. He will be able to tag down Glace. They will get out of dodge as they do have a minute 15 on the clock to work with. And the utility and complexity suffering now the later these rounds go on. Kadian though with his off going to get aggressive towards bathrooms. That's tons of information given to his team. Knowing there's no one on that side is complexity. All their focus is towards the B bomb side with one player holding that flank of connector. Yeah, they, they've been okay. Complexity's been okay making it into the B side, but they just cannot hold on to it is the problem. Now HS sitting towards the water pit, followed by Maniac as well up in the heavens. Def looking to take a quick peek as all 10 players are up in 40 seconds wow, to go. HS going to dink one, and here they come towards the cat. And Maniac watching this angle as he holds down. If he can't choose an angle as he tanks his teammate down a little bit, but Android's going to find one, and Glace is going to find another. Android picks up two, and now it's a main advantage for complexity. It is. Rogue needs to make their free take happen. Kadian is currently smoked off. Nice boost. Tensi getting that jumping kill on Android. Molly, though, getting a little too close for comfort. As the smoke is now faded in heaven, the Seattle Lock Gideon with a big nice shot there in the depth. What else can he find here? There is Ape behind Monster and Ape. Alone towards site side. He needs to come up huge. 
Three members of Rogue pushing him. He's going to be able to find the one. That's Tenski down. What else can he do? Kadian taking a challenge there. It's surreal, though, to help his brother out. His place goes down, and it's all in Kadian. Yeah, Kadian in a 1v2. They just need to keep it a 2v1. And A, why would you beat that? But regardless, he will win the round. But it's a rifle he could not have uh, saved there. And he will join uh, Harambe. Is that oh, too soon? No. No, too soon. Don't, don't talk Eight. about that <laughs> So, finally, a round four complexity. And uh, we're going to see this replay here as uh, Molotov could keep these guys at bay. And look at this, Kadian with this shot on. And, but regardless, he's going to be able to save his off and into the next round. So they're sitting on a pretty good surplus. They fully bought. And look at that. Complexity, yep. fully invested now. It's still really the rough. Similar buy to the previous round with Uber on a Galil once again. And KD in this time is going to decide to get aggressive towards bathrooms. He does have support from Tenski here towards Khan or Stairs. Again, depends what you want to call it. Apier will be playing that cheeky little angle on top of that plank there. The complexity is just switching it up. As I mentioned, playing on themselves a little thin, spreading out across the map, trying to find a rogue member off guard. And Tenski is all currently alone towards Khan. He's just going to try to get out of dodge, close that squeaky door, and get out of there, Arcadian. And I like what Kadian's doing. He's kind of floating around with the op. He'll take some peeks early on, fall back to bathrooms, and this time he is going to be holding towards long. And now all the pressure is on Complexity to find an opening frag with a minute time on the clock. Yeah, they had some su success towards, uh, you know, the B side, but that's when they got control of stairs, right? So they haven't really established that just yet, but they, you know, they're towards the bathroom side with Bomb you know, down the other side. Uh, lots of time on the clock for them to really work something here. Yeah, they are, and it looks like they do want to re-aggress as Kadian's going to re-push up bathrooms with Tenski and Glaze in support. Meanwhile, Maniac aggressive towards Long B, and this is a nice little position for Mover. Going to be spotting into the A-bomb site depth. Unsure of where he wants to go. Out of nowhere, Glaze is going to find Surreal, and it looks like they don't even know where that came from. As yeah. The Rogue members get a frag and just fall off those silencers, and Depth's left scrambling. Yeah, he looked a little shocked there, but oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Kadian, not with his op, is going to be with a CZ, and this is... Oh. Ape's gonna go down, but luckily Android's right behind to find that trade. Uber, Uber is gonna find opening into that A site. Now it's down to Maniac and HS. Post plant positions. Bomb's not yet planted. Uh, the post plants are looking interesting. Yes, Uber is gonna be here towards bank. As Maniac's gonna be getting up here towards garbage bin. And these are strong post plant positions with great crossfire capabilities. So that's what the player sees. No clue that anyone is lurking to the left. That is depth support from the site box as well. And here comes that hit. Depth gets both of them. And that's Complexity getting a second round on the board. Yeah, two rounds in a row now. That's most likely going to uh, reset Team Rogue with their economy. So, so far, look at this. As they both try to make their way in, it's, it's really tough as they hug each other. Nothing wrong with that. So... 5-2 is your current scoreline, and oh, oh hello. hi. <laughs> <laughs> hello. So, yeah, guys, uh, Complexity finally, finally finding two rounds, but another buy, and oh, Maniac with the UMP, but I've seen great things with that gun. Yeah, it seems they're going to be doing Kadian again. Enough funds to purchase himself an off on the side, and you, were much, you brought it up earlier. Is Complexity going to decide to go for a T-side op, and they are. It's going to be the hand of Surreal. And it's going to be interesting to see if Surreal's going to be able to put himself into strong positions to find the opening frags on Rogue, which Rogue, a little aggressive towards bathrooms, but it's different timings every time. It's not a set push and fall back. It's They've been mixing it up a lot, and they haven't been really showing their hand too often. Once in a while, they'll try to gain con control and switch it up. But right now, Rogue's just going to be switching up once again with this nice little boost. Yeah, Glaze looking to take a peek towards water, and ooh, Ape, timing is key, and he's going to get spotted out, and he will go down, and that's a main advantage. But oh, it just does get punished a little bit. But... They're still stalling, they're not going to connect towards the side, but oh, Maniac does some damage with the UMP, but his teammates need to help him out. He's going to be trying to take another duel, it's Android to win that. There's HS, nice frag on Android, and he'll get a second on his Surreal, but is he going to be ready for the player up short? He will turn around, Uber going to find HS. Glaze to find him, now it's all on depth. Death in a 1v3 situation. Players all around him has 30 seconds. He needs 4 seconds to play, but he's just getting tanked from behind. He doesn't even react to that. But regardless, Team Rogue will find another round now. 6-2. And look at this. Maniac is doing a little bit of damage. And here we go. HS finding 2 just like that. It's a lot of damage done. Yeah, it just shuts down the complete B split that uh, Complex were going for there. They really wanted to split on that site. And it would allow them to have more angles to peek from instead of just two players up short. So the long just gets completely shut down. And they're back to pistols. One set of armor. 
death, and he is going to have a little bit of utility to work with. Actually, full utility. So two flashes. Uh oh, Kadian. Kadian. It's a party. You're invited, but all these players are blind. And here he comes, trying to filter back. And luckily, Tensky's here to hold his hand. He finds two, and Kadian's going to pick up one and two. Oh. And Tensky finds a third frag. Oh my goodness. Oh, Kadian finds three, actually. That got scary real quick for those guys. Is they decided to go through that smoke that he threw to vanish. As you can see, Kadian throws that smoke, and just Tensky here in full support to continue that off going forward. Wow, so 7-2, just crisp shots. Yeah, so 7-2. And uh, oh, we have a Glee on. Yeah, Uber's, Uber's been the man when he doesn't have enough money, he'll just go for a good will. He prefers, I guess he likes it at this point, as uh, he's going to continue going forward. Really, this is the third time we've seen him use it. And it is 7-2 off still on Kadian. Yeah, keep in mind, guys, not a lot of utility for the complexity no, side. No, not too so much at all. If they're going to hit something and spend that, you best believe they're most likely to And the longer execute. they wait, it's, the, it's going to take away their utility. As if you need to use flashes to start clearing positions. As you don't know if the players on Rogue have gotten over-aggressive into your side. So you have to clear those angles with a little bit of utility. So they need to gain some control soon. Especially considering two players are pushed into water. And with Kadian locking down this long B, it's really scary on this B site right now. Yeah, Android really needs to be careful. He has been lurking for the side. Will he be successful? And he will find Maniac. But all oh, that Opto Ooh. just lined up, and he will find that trade. And now equalized to down to a 4v4. Bomb on the back of Surreal as they look to make a play. Yeah, Glaze continued to, to play this A site. Well, an M4 in his hands. There is a player playing close bathrooms. That is going to be Tenski. AK in hand with 45 on the clock. Pressure's all in complexity as we are evened up 4v4 now. Bomb just back bathrooms. Complexity looks like they would like to commit to this A site. Dev going to be pushing over towards long. Those mollies are going to slow this push, but are they going to clear for Tensky? Oh, goodness, this smoke is really good for Tensky as they trickle their way in for bathroom. And he's going to hold mouse one, finds one, two, and okay. Glaze going to say hello to one as well. And Dev wants a piece of this, and he's going to find one. Almost capitalizes on the Glaze, but Team Rogue will close that out. That smoke just works so perfectly for that team as the molly slows the push. Smoke allows Tensky to hide behind it, and it. They don't even think to check this corner at this point as he hasn't let his presence known yet into the round. And he gets a nice double with his teammate coming up with the third. Yeah, it's so pretty good, com uh, you know, I guess I wanted to say complexity out from Team Rogue. Because, uh, you know, they're mixing up and they're having a little bit of, uh, they're, they're playing a little bit aggressive. You know, Kadian pushing it, up it's hard to read them. Up. It, yeah. it is, yeah, it's extremely hard to read them right now as they are just, as you mentioned, switching it up from Kadian floating around the A site, getting aggressive in bathrooms from Glaze being pushed like this which will catch the players, especially with just pistols off guard. But they're just floating around the positions beautifully from doing some boosts one, boosts once in a while to getting aggressive towards bathrooms and just another easy MP go around for Team Rogue. Oh my goodness, Tensky with that MP9 flying out like that, man. But as we see there, it was an eco round, but Team Rogue, they capitalized. Three-man peek towards the long B, right? They yeah. shut it down. They understand what's going on. They're peeking together. So like Dust said, they've, they've got some, some good chemistry. So, not too sure if we have a pause or not, but actually, I'm going to see a replay. Good old little replay of just the nice little clean out there from uh, Rogue during that anti-eco round. And uh, as mentioned, Complexity, they needed a good T-half. It's not the best start with only two rounds on the board. Rogue just able to get themselves in these extremely strong positions from pushing up towards bathrooms, keeping Glaze floating around with that nice rifle. And it's been hard to get a read on Rogue from switching up where the Ops playing to playing new setups every round. And it's just hard to shut them down, especially when the buys that they do go for are really light on utility. And the later they wait into the round and play back, it allows the CTs to get into better positions forward in the map. And it, they have to use their little small amount of utility that they have to clear those positions out to move up forward towards a site. And by the time they get to an execute, Rogue, <laughs> there's nothing in their way to stop this push. Yeah, so that's why it makes it a little awkward with that, you know, the first round bomb plant. It makes the economy really awkward, but we'll get back into the game, guys, as we will continue from 9-2. So, Team Rogue, seven rounds ahead. Yeah, and we're going to see Uber back on the AK, which is nice to see. Hasn't had enough money to get himself one lately. Dep, Dep going to be leading the charge here. He's just going to be jump spotting that one. He gets all the information he could ever possibly want. Maniac playing towards Monster. What can this man do? He's going to give him the lockdown short. And it looks like, again, Complexity going for this more of a default towards the B side. Leave A relatively unscathed. They've only gone over there a couple times. And every time they have, they just got shut down towards bathrooms. And Rogue have already double pushed down long. And that's just tons of information given up. 
Yeah, and look at, yeah, like you said, Cadian, Fall, Montensky just getting so much information, but looks like they're still scrambling to make their way into this B-bomb site. CTs have spent their utility, and here they go. Complexity looking to lock down this site, but there's all 10 players up as one minute good to go. And finally, HS is going to find one, and Glaze is going to find one as well. Actually, finds another on to Surreal, but Surreal, Android actually is going to get traded eight. right off. And now Ape all by himself. One v four bombs picking. That Molly's gonna actually oh, spread to him. Oh, one G's in the chat. to force out, and there's Tensky to take him down with that nice Molotov. So, and that's just a really strong retake from Rogue. You know, they held onto their utility late onto the round where the retake had to come out, and they just played it perfectly together. All four going, no one hanging back. And you see, they played in that smoke perfectly on site, which allowed Maniac to just lead these boys onto this round and just a slaughter coming out. Yeah, you see how you know Team Rogue they spend the utility, keep these guys at bay. They know they're in water. And they just wait it out. Once utility spent, they back yep. away from the side a little bit and let them come in and just do a little bit of a retake. So yeah, so ten to two. I think I said sixteen two, if I remember correctly. Uh, uh, and the op back in Kaden get to go for a PQ towards Fountain. I don't know. And again, these flashes from Complexity when they do decide to go outside towards uh, the bathroom side. Great utility usage to allow them to actually cross safely and neutralize Kadian, but it's hard to get an opera, especially out of bathrooms, without giving up at least a life. Yeah, definitely. So, Kadian is pretty comfortable with his op. He's going to be uh, towards the bathroom side as Dev. Trying to find something here through, through the smoke with Kadian. Looking towards the party. He's gonna smoke for himself as uh, Complexity just got way up this utility, but they pop flash through, and Kadian's probably gonna read this here. But He's no. actually pushing forward with an op. This is an interesting play. <laughs> And they don't push through, but oh, looking to pop flash, but he's gonna get pushed from the left side. But regardless, Death's gonna find two kills here and putting a man advantage for Complexity. They haven't cleared bathrooms yet, though. Gating is still here, and if Complexity will just continue this push forward to the bomb site, but it looks like they are gonna be content with two frags, throwing a little bit of a fake here towards A. So two frags and a fall off is gonna be the play for Complexity. They're going to continue the push on the deep bomb site where it's Maniac, and he was getting aggressive at short, might get caught off, forced back into the pit position, and it's all on him to hold this off. Yeah, he needs to wait for his teammates to make it their way in. Definitely get caught out, but regardless, Uber is going to clean up Maniac, and now ain't Jess and Kadian. Are they going to commit to this? They've got tons of money. I can't, don't see why not. Ain't Jess going to come from the CT side as you have four players up for complexity. Yeah, HS and Kadian to make this happen. He's upgraded to an AK. They both have kits, that's not a problem. But it just comes down to clearing out these post post positions. Ape, what a shot there through the wall on Adian and Def gonna pick up HS. So Complexity finding some life in him here near the later parts of this first half. Yep, so honestly, if they find the last two, it would be really great, but, um, you know, looking at their economy, they do, uh, like Team Rogue has a lot of money left. They, they're definitely going to be able to buy an op back on Kadian. He's yep. still sitting on 5k, 6k. You have Glaze with another 6k, and they're going to be able to buy this out. This is the second last round of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. As Complexity do find another round, but it's still going to be tough here. Yeah, Kadian getting aggressive. This time not getting flashed out of position. Will tag down Surreal this time. But he hasn't found too much success when it comes to getting aggressive with the op. I like when he plays a bathroom position. Lurk roll, it's worked extremely well for him so far. But getting aggressive with the op, not finding anything as of yet. He will be able to leg one, but get this tag down himself. And Uber playing a dangerous game here. They will throw some up towards Matthews. It's going to allow them to lurk out even closer to Kadian's position. They're going to have to trade out effectively for Complexity to gain full control of the side of the map. Yeah, Glaze on the other side. And the boost. Canadians right there as well. But they dink death accidentally. Like, that's just insta dink. Yeah. It's, that's just unfortunate. And honestly, that, at that point, you just hesitate to make. Oh my goodness. On the edge of that fire. Regardless, Uber now going to take the charge as the bomb is on the back of Android. Keep in mind. It is on the back of Android, and Uber's going to be the man to clear up his position. They're not going to let that come back again. And yeah, Android towards B with this bomb. And you can see the players of complexity running back down towards the water position. Yeah, going to stand through the walls a little bit. And it looks like with 40 seconds on the clock, they are going to be executing here. But I don't think he'll be ready for Maniac being this close to short. I don't think they're ready, guys. Maniac, we're going to see another crazy play from this man as he looks to peek out. Aggressive finds one looking for that trade, but Def's going to find it. And HS trades on trades on trades. And as they make their way from the long B side, and Place trying to capitalize as he did back off. And they're holding on to Monster. And Surreal comes up, but Andrew gets traded off. It's down Bomb to 2v2. Yet. Yeah, and Bomb's not playing. 15 seconds. A player on short. That's Tensky. He's going to be able to try to deny this. Nice shot coming out from Katie and onto Ape. 
And just like that, it's all on the tag. Surreal, with seven seconds on the clock, he has to find both players, or at least punch no! them off. No! There's ten speed position coming up perfect, and that's probably going to get another round on the board. Yeah, guys, so just so you know, you need four seconds to plant the bomb, and he tried to go for it, but the player sitting on Cat is going to shut him down, so this is not looking good as we go into the last round. Not too bright. Yeah, so let's see the economy here. Uh, oh, they fully spent. Is it going to be pots and pans? Uh, three AKs, two Tech Nines. Yeah, and too bad. Surreal's not having a good game right now with only two frags on the board. He has to be one of these key members of this team, so he, could, he definitely has to step it up for the squad to even have a chance on the CT side. Um, but it's pretty much everyone in Complexity at this point still needs to continue to step it up. As they're just getting just out. Out aim? Out everything. Yeah, out, <laughs> out yeah, you're right. Out everything. It just comes down to the rotations, the positions that Rogue is playing, making it extremely hard to read. As Tensky, they rarely push calm, but the one time they do, it's going to catch depth off guard. Oh, but look at this. Another play out from Team Rogue. as these straight spots here. Four members of the Complexity make their way into the A side, and Tensky is going to spot one out, and that's going to be Android, who needs to come up big here for his team, but... He's okay, Kaden can miss that shot and Andrew's gonna find that kill, he's still alive. If he can find this kill, it could be so crucial as Uber does work as well. Glaze gonna find a trade for him. Glaze, 7 HP, gonna make his way out, he's gonna get shut down by Abe, who's completely raped Charles, but Maniac's gonna find that trade and now down to a 1v1 situation. Maniac just gonna stick the oh bomb no. and no, not like that, but it's not gonna happen. And There's Andrew, yeah. Complexity find the last round. Still 11 4, one of those shaky, weird kind of score lines where pistol round is a must at this point. Um, we are going to get a replay of what happened in the last round, which I'm excited for. That was a really w great hold coming up from Complexia. I would have wished we would have been able to do this and light this fire their bellies a little earlier, but it did come out and come down to this main frag from Complexia. Like, from like I said, Android needed to get those two frags, yeah. and he said it, and eight, oh, look at that, eight completely blinded, finds that kill into Glaze. That's just in insane, and, but it leaves it down to 1v1. Look at that. Android quick kills there, 3k actually. So very big play, but that's only four rounds. Yeah, it's going to come down to pistol round. It's a desperate must-win situation now. As they are going to be on the CT side, the favorite side, mm -hmm. and I'm interested to see what Rogue's going to come out with as uh, they played more of a passive laid back. Let's keep switching up what we're doing style there on the CT. Is it just going to be straight out aggression as they're feeling pretty confident with 11-4 scoreline? Yeah, so Complexity die uh, desperately need this pistol round. And we're gonna see them make this play here with Uber in the face of death as Kadian on the other side. Kadian, Jacob peeking, but he's actually come out wide and Uber is gonna find that kill and hold oh, the squish of his head and Uber gonna come right back as, oh my oh, goodness, wow. Android and Uber coming up big and keep in mind though, Maniac and Glaze have the bomb. But Ape getting boosted there is gonna be able to drop him. And now it's all on Maniac, bomb in hand and Complexity knock, knock. absolutely wiped and here they oh, come though goodness. again. One, can Maniac do this? No, Uber. Sticking up for his squad. He's going to get a 3k there during pistol round. So that's the start complexity he needed for that pistol round. And <laughs> they desperately need to keep it going. God, I love the crowd. I love I love that. I love the dabs, guys. That's oh, it makes me giggle inside. But regardless, pistol round is going to go into complexity. But Team Rogue, I'm actually quite scared for complexity. After seeing the first half of what they can do, now we're going to see the execution side of Team Rogue. Yeah. As we see... Family of five make their way to the playground. Yeah, they're just going to be passing here, and it looks like it is just going to be a pistol push straight down long into aim. Complexity aren't careful. They might just give up sight for free as they do have two players towards bathroom. They are having a strong feeling that this is happening now as they've one, rotated one player back to sign. It's going to be surreal. He has a smoke in hand. If he spots anything, he is just going to drop that smoke and allow rotations to come through. So Rogue has to be extremely quick on the trigger there, but surreal uses smoke actually towards bathroom. So he is a smokeless man, but he has a molly. Yeah, so surreal. Forced off that angle, but he's gonna. Oh my goodness, this could be pretty bad as they make their way towards long and they're gonna go through. How much damage? Ooh, it's uh, quite a bit and they're gonna pop right out and surreal's gonna go down right away. Death taking some damage, he's forced off, but Uber answers back, finding two kills. The trades happen in favor of Tensky, but Death is gonna find him. Yeah, now it's all on Maniac and Blaze. Just going to be waiting as the bomb is not yet planted, so it has not become a retake situation yet. They do still have control of the B bomb site. Or a bomb site, excuse me. And Glaze is going to pop a flash over. He feels the need to get into 1v1 situation, even this back up. Going to fake the plant here. And 
Def not buying anything yet. Oh, but he beats it out and it's gonna be good. And Ape's oh. gonna struggle and he goes down. It's all down to Android. Can he pull this off in a 1v2? 20 seconds ago. Bomb can get forced down and Android needs to capitalize. Glaze, low HP, pop flash comes out. Can Android X23 pull this off? But he's gonna get tagged down. He's just chicken peeking back and forth and he shut it down. Wow. The pistols of Rogue, so it's straight down long, a eh? Rush. Works out for them in the end, and they're able to get in strong post plant positions, get themselves some UM some UMPs and some SMGs to make this happen. And it was just trades, of just straight up effectively trading across on Team Rogue. And it came down to the end where they just baited out the perfect push timing, and the bomb wasn't even planted, so I was a little confused as to what complexity was trying to gain here. Possibly wanted to try to catch a player with bomb towards truck off guard, but. They weren't ready for that crossfire they had set up and it baited them in perfectly. Yeah, definitely something you know, Ape, uh, you know, it's a 2v2 situation. You don't need to peek. Bomb's up being planted. Just wait it out, right? But regardless, we saw how that was illustrated, guys. The bomb the back of Tenski as Team Rogue up seven rounds now. Ape right, indeed, yeah. just waiting patiently as his teammate's actually close by. An Uber covered by a smoke as the bomb is going to be dropped for a default. And guys... Kadian is going to be leading the charge. A pop comes in and look at this though. But he's unsuccessful. Going to drop the Molotov to keep them at bay. No pistol play here. Tenski shuts down Uber as he looks to find Ape, but he's going to struggle. Def looks like he would like to push forward with Ape. Ape, nice shot down to Tenski. Kadian all alone now towards Long. He's feeling the pressure. He's going to have to drop the smoke, try to get himself out of there. Bomb is safe and secured back towards the playground. So Kadian is trying to get away with his life. So he's going to continue to push forward and Def will be able to drop him. So now a one-man advantage now for complexity and time. It's starting to become a problem, but Android all alone for the rotation oh coming in. What no. a shot there from HS for Monster. And now this, this is just retake now for complexity. Yeah, down to 3-3. A right pull in the hands of Ape, and he needs to come up huge here. But as his teammate Surreal does go down from ABC and down to post point positions. Three the situation. Honestly, I'm pretty sure complexity might just save this out. But regardless, Daft is going to answer back. That's going to put them in the hope to take this round, possibly. But we're actually going to see Daft make his way away from the site with the rifle. They're going to give up 13th round to Rogue. Again, a smart decision is that retake would have been extremely difficult with no armor, no kit, just only one molly to make this happen. The Maniac and Glaze were not going to give that up. Extremely strong post plant positions. They will be able to go up to 13 to 5. Now, the question is, what can Complexity do going forward in the next round? They're going to have two rifles saved. Um, and their economy is going to be in a real awkward situation where they're going to probably have a, an internal bout right now about it. Is Are we going to force around these rifles? Are we going to buy pistols? Are we going to even out our economy? Is everyone going to invest? Or is it just going to be trust these two riflers to go do their jobs while we just save and buy ourselves in the coming rounds? Yeah, so 13-5, the end of the game creeping up as we've got... So uh, they, did it, they did go all in. Yeah. yeah. Not really pots and pans, but Uber has a CZ and a Scout. So very interesting. Two Famasas followed by two M44s and not too much utility to keep these guys at bay. Team Rogue full out by AKs across the board. And regardless, though, it is going to be a slow default from Team Rogue as they set up for the stairs and take control of that part of the map. Yeah, they put one rifle here on Def. He is going to be playing there towards the sign Android in support. Short place he's gonna be running out here. He's two damage clear. He's still tagged down Def. Maniac will get a turn frag on Android, and there's a nice frag coming up from Tenski on the depth. Ape though, alone on B bombs, I know rotation coming in yet. As Rogue is still extremely spread out on the map, and they would have trade way more effective than complexity. Oh, but look at this though, HS, sneaky beaky like looking around here. Uh -oh. As Ape on the other end though, and he spots it out, but Ape reacts to that so well. He is the only player towards his B side. It's equalized out to 3v3, but Maniac on 3 HP, keep in mind, has the bomb. All Ape needs to do is really sneeze on him, but still gonna hold this out. Molotov's come right down, and Ape gonna be forced right back. Looks to peek, and he gets, oh, wow. oh, he gets a little bit of an aim punch, but he's getting stuck here. He doesn't capitalize, but luckily Uber is there, and like I said, down to a 1v2 now, Surreal. All he needs to do is sneeze on Maniac, but Tenski's there. Surreal in 1v2, bomb not yet planted. There's 25 seconds of our clock. That Molly's only going to slow this down. Is Surreal thinking about what he's going to be doing? Is possibly he thought they rotated out, but with 17 seconds on the clock, he's just going to be getting himself another heaven position. Bomb. Oh, is going to be oh, getting planted. Pixel as we away. Speak. And now this is where it gets scary. Surreal, can he do this? 
because there are two players to oh, deal with. What? And what a shot from Maniac from Sight to shut that down. Maniac, 3 HP, just turns on that man. No, oh, that's just unfortunate. We're going to see that again. But look at this. Ape just, just going back and forth and doesn't hold the angle. Yeah, and Uber immediately is traded out effectively. And it was all on Surreal in 1v2. It's odd stack in favor. Smart play to drop the molly there to deny the plant for at least a little bit. They could have planted on the left-hand side, but they're a little paranoid of Surreal being exactly in that same position. But now Complexity going to be all in once again. Double scouts out in play and just pistols for Surreal, Ape, and Uber. Yeah, force by up and Team World looking to find that match point. And Uber is going to shut down one. That's going to be Tensky and Gadian. On the other side, and he's gonna drop a nade, but still needs to filter away as he just has a CZ. Def with the scout is gonna take that position, try to cover that up, and got lots of time and man advantage for complexity. A minute 18 on the clock, and it's interesting to see what complexity is doing on the back of getting this man advantage. They had aggression towards bathrooms, they all just immediately fall back into their default setup towards A and have one rotator going back and forth between A and B, so. Just going to be playing it safe as one pistol will get aggressive again once towards bathrooms. And it's all on Rogue to clear these positions. And with only 57 seconds on the clock, time's starting to become a little bit of a problem. As Ape's going to be spotting out a player in connector, and now it's all on Rogue to make this happen as complexity man advantage. But still, pistols and scouts are unable to upgrade. Yep, it's going to be on Ape, followed by Android. Can they hold down their shop at B as Team Rogue? 30 seconds to go as they look to knock on their door. And Android has this scope and he looks away though, but he's gonna be in for a surprise and he finds a tag down, but he finds this kill. They line up, but he only manages to find one. Ape here with a CZ as his teammates are gonna be rotating, but they're far away. Ape's gonna be finding a kill on Cadian. Yeah, bomb's not planted yet. So Maniac. this is extremely scary now. Maniac and HS gonna make their way into the site, forcing the plan, and he just needs to cover his exits. It's real to get tanked down, and from the right side, Maniac actually answers back, finds two kills, and finally gets traded off. And now he just can't he pull this off, but he will get shut down by Surreal. Complexity, there you go. They'll re make that retake with Pistols happen. Uh, it came down to those, ro those rotations after they got the opening pick. They fell back to the sites, which allowed them to rotate extremely quickly to the B bomb site, make that retake happen. I feel like they would have given even five to ten more seconds to the boys on Rogue. They would have been even stronger post plant positions as they're pressed for time, and he forced to get that plant. And it came close as they were able to find these one-on-ones with Maniac going off. But a nice trade actually through the smoke from Surreal, and that closed out that round for Complexity nicely. Now, Surreal did win the round, but you got to give it to Ape and Android, keeping them at bay, doing some yep. damage. And Ape with the CZ finds that kill on the Cadian, right? So, you know, got to give it to him the holding down that B site. But regardless, Team Rogue now on an eco. Cadian with the Deagle, followed by the rest of the Complexity with rifles as well. And now... Bomb down way back towards T-Spawn, and it is going to be a default. Arcadian, Deagle in hand, and Android's going to read that as they make their way back away towards the T-Spawn. Yeah, Rogue, again, keep in mind, one round away from getting to match point. And that's scary now for Complexity. They don't want to allow them to get to match point. They do. The best they're going to get is an overtime. An overtime against Rogue with money, especially. It's going to be extremely scary. So right now they have broken their economy. Rogue is just using some pistols, a couple sets of armor, a little bit of utility to work with. Kadian trying to get lucky, trying to get a complexity member jumping. As complexity is going to be playing back in the sights. They've read this economy situation perfectly. They're not willing to go for these solo pushes as they were early on in the rounds. But as I say that, a player is getting a little aggressive towards bathroom. And that is going to be... Yeah, it's Uber. Look at him push up with all this information. He's going to get a face full of maniac. He will be able to get one. What else can this man do? They're continuing to push. Gets two. And will get shut down, but that's just a great play from Uber. Getting two and then trade it out, but it's HS with armor and a rifle as well, though. Yeah, regardless, regardless, still, 4v2 situation. Complexity in the driver's seat. Has 30 seconds way down, and Surreal's going to find one, but Ooh. 1D comes in, and Tensky's going to send him away, but Android will answer back. And that's going to be 14-7. as They're bouncing back a little bit. And we're going to see a little bit of a replay here. As Uber finds two amazing kills, but gets traded out. Yeah, the player actually, which was Tensky towards Long, was actually pushed up a little bit too far past the bathrooms. And he would have been able to rotate back a little bit quicker, but it was too late. He was already too far pushed up. So great timing coming out there from Uber. Make that make that nice sneaky little push up. Now complexity, another rifle round coming to Ancadian. Not enough money to go for his off. He's going to continue forward with the ump, hoping to get some frags of that, get some money in his pocket. Complexity, rifles across the board, not wanting to go for an off yet. Android will be losing intensity early on. Molly's going to stop that push, but look at this push. They're already up short. 
Yeah, and Abe's gonna go down right away. Glaze is gonna find that kill, but they're not fully on the side with Dev, but a huge play finds one, and he's gonna react to another, and he will get it. And that's gonna be huge, but they traded spots, and still a man advantage. 14 Rogue as they shut down Dev all by himself now as Uber, as he needs to hold this out. Bomb not gonna be playing just yet, and there's still a lot of time on the clock. There is, so Rogue gonna be holding and seeing if Uber will be the one to make the first mistake. He's just going to be holding his game if anyone on Rogue decides to get pushed up and get themselves into a stronger position. Not going to be the case yet. Uber's going to be able to win that one-on-one -on -one against HS. Now it's all on Maniac and Glaze to make this happen. And Uber still has a little bit of utility to work with. That smoke's going to allow him to get out of this position if he wishes, but look at this. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, they didn't get the bomb till now, and Uber has found an opening. And he's going to hear the bomb, but oh my goodness, he gets one kidney react. But <laughs> match point has been secured. Yeah, all right, man. That... That scared me a little bit. I can't blame you. Back to back, not looking at each other. Checks the cat position. And oh my goodness. Yeah, that was just a crazy round. Back and forth completely throughout the entire round. And it just came down to that retake with Uber. And uh, unable to close out, he will deny the bomb plant. But the, he was not ready for the player monster. Typically, there would be a player short there. And they'd be playing off each other and double up towards short as it is the strong position in that situation. But. Gets unlucky, and that do it will put Rogue onto match point and a kitchen sink by coming up from complexity. Yeah, but now, like you said, kitchen sink, and Abe got big boot. He's gonna find one, but here comes more. Can he handle it? No, he can't, but Android trying to capitalize, and he will get ragdolled. But it's real. Pistol in hand is gonna find one. Can he come up big here? But HS is gonna equalize that out, and Dev finally with the off tags. HS through the planks here. It's still a winnable round as it's on him. still a winnable round as Uber. With the Clarion is gonna spot one out here towards Cat and needs to capitalize. Can they pull this off? Is this gonna be it for complexity? Team Rogue Def looking to find this best of one. Def needs to find a frag any moment now. It's, it's all an Uber. Moss is gonna be pushing forward. That's only last piece of utility. Def is gonna find HS, but there's Maniac and Blaze to shut that down. So that is gonna be Rogue taking that one, and there was a bit of life there for Complexity near the end. They started to get their footing once they got on the CT side after our extremely rough T side. And that was just really well played by Complexity there to bring that one back, make it interesting.